Hey everybody, Jam Creates here. Uh, another drive home from work. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, my voice sounds a little bit better tonight, I think. Feeling a little better. Slowly but surely, I'm getting there. The stupid sinus infection is going away. Um, for any of those who care. Um, <laughs> but uh, tonight I wanted to talk about something. Uh, I was just thinking about this and thought I would... Uh, expound on it, if you will. Um, Yeah, so what I was thinking about was, you know, a lot of people have compared, uh, lately at least, uh, on social media and and other places, a lot of people have compared the sudden boom of, I don't know if you want to call it like a boom, I guess, I don't know, whatever, The, the upswing, let's say, in creator-owned comics, um, independent comics, um, you know, crowdfunded comic books, uh, because there's definitely been an upswing. I mean, clearly there's been some really huge, huge crowdfunders, you know, um, whether it's, you know, Cyberfrog making more than half a million dollars or Jawbreakers making, like, th- what they make, like, 300-something thousand dollars and Red Rooster was a hundred and something thousand dollars. Brian Polito's Lady Death, his last Lady Death campaign made two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and um, his new one—I forgot the name of it—but that one made a ton of money too. And um, it got me to thinking, you know, there's this thing of, you know, there's this thought process at least that, you know, you can't if you don't have the properties of the well-established superheroes, you're not going to make, like, you're not going to make headway in the industry, and you're not going to really make the, the money, like, it, almost like it's a foregone conclusion that even if the quality level is not there for Marvel and DC, they're still going to be the biggest sellers, and they're still going to be the most popular simply because they've got the longevity and they've got the history and they've got the name recognition to them. Um, so, you know, but I, I, I kind of wonder, you know, honestly, like if that's really the case, then where is all this money coming from? Where are all these fans? I mean, it's coming from fans. It's coming from people who want something. And that's why, you know, I, I've been thinking about, you know, it's kind of always been accepted wisdom that you just can't launch new superheroes anymore. Like, new superheroes, you know, you're just, you know, you might be like, eh, okay, little success here and there, whatever, but you're never going to be big, you're never going to be huge. The last time anyone launched a big superhero universe was the Image Days, and, you know, they had the, you know, they had all the hype behind them and all these giant names all going at once from Marvel to Independence, and you know, that's where, that's why the money was there for them to launch all these new characters and things like Wildcats and Stormwatch and, you know, uh, I'm like blanking all of a sudden, um, but, uh, Witchblade and like, you know, all these, these books that came out and the Max and things like that. And a lot of these things had, you know, they had crossover success. They had animated series and stuff like that. And, and they did crossovers within the, the you know, and Spawn, the Spawn um, had a movie and a TV series and, you know, tons of successful action figures and, and all this other stuff. Um, and it just makes, you know, it makes me wonder, like, you know, okay, there was that back then. And it was very successful. And some of those properties are still around to this day. And they're still... Some of them are still successful. Some of them are not nearly as successful. They're just kind of hanging on due to the creator being, you know, one of the the, the heads of Image still being the people doing it. Um, but there were, you know, they were popular for a time. They didn't, okay, so they didn't have the long life, but that's fine. Not everything does. Um, you know, not everything's going to last, you know, 70 years, you know, or better, like, you know, Spider-Man or something like that. But not everything has to either. I mean, let's be honest. But my thought is, you know, it's always been this conventional wisdom that you can't launch new superheroes. You just can't do it. They're not going to work. It's not going to be successful. If it's not Marvel or DC and they're not interacting with the Marvel and DC characters and if they're not the, 
if they aren't the Marvel and DC characters, you're just not going to have the success. You're not going to make the money and no one's going to care about your characters. And I do think to some extent that's true to a large portion of the comic buying populace. No, they're not going to care. They're they're really not going to care about your, you know, super awesome guy comic book that you just launched. Uh, But there are other people out there who will care, who will be interested and who will take a chance, especially nowadays where so many of the Marvel and DC comics have turned people off and people don't want to buy them anymore, but they still want to buy comic books. And the thing is, is, you know, I, I found this for myself. I like superhero comics. I do. And it's funny because I know, and I'm a big fan of Alterna because I do like other types of comics as well not just superhero comics, but I do enjoy superhero comics. And it's funny because, um, you know, I know uh, Peter Semetti from Alterna has said that, you know, Alterna's not really about doing superhero comics. Now, they have had some that you would classify as superhero comics, but of course, nothing at Alterna is an ongoing. Everything is a limited series. And listen, you can debate that all you want. I kind of like that because you're always kind of, you know, in my thought, my thought is if you're always doing a limited series, you're always going to put your best story out there. There's no filler. Um, Because if you're doing a four issue series and you've got filler, that just means it shouldn't have been four issues. Um, Maybe go back and rethink your story or rethink the length of the story. Um, But the, the thing to me is, uh, you know, everyone, like I said, it's always been said you can't launch new superheroes. And I've seen several companies over the years try. You know, I remember the Ultraverse. You remember the Ultraverse? Um, I do. Do you remember Valiant when they really start tried to hit it big? You know, um, and they've still got some, you know, Valiant actually is still around to a certain extent. And they've still got some, some stuff um, going. And... You know, we'll see. I don't know if it's going to continue or not. And, you know, Bloodshot and things like that. And, um, you know, there was Exo Manowar and stuff like that. And, you know, some of these things are still around. And some of them are getting relaunches. I mean, Bloodshot, I believe, just had a relaunch or is getting a relaunch. And I think it's even getting a movie, actually, which is kind of funny because, you know, no one's really thought about Bloodshot in years. Um, It's interesting to me that it can get a movie at this point. It kind of reminds me of back in the day when, like, people were adapting, like, every indie comic in the world as a movie. Things like Tank Girl and um, Barbed Wire and things like that. Like, um, It's kind of funny to think that maybe we're getting back into that. I don't know if we are or not. It's kind of hard to tell, but you never know. Um, but anyway, I, I, it's like, like I said, it's always been accepted wisdom that you can't do that. And I think now is the time that you could. I think now is the time that you could actually launch some new interesting superheroes and be successful. Will they be successful long long term? I have no idea. You know, I can't say that. Who can say? I can't predict the future. If Marvel writes the ship and turns things around and has everything looking great, well then, you know, I would think that would be a a pretty hard thing for these other things to withstand because Marvel has that notoriety. Um, But right now, Marvel and DC are turning off so many of their readers and so many people are looking for alternatives that I do think a alternative uh, superhero, not necessarily a superhero universe, you know, you don't have to jump into a universe. It's the same thing like I always see with the movies. Like, everybody wants to start, we're going to start a cinematic universe. And then they put out one movie and it's terrible and their cinematic universe dies. Just look at The Mummy with Tom Cruise. That was supposed to be a whole Universal's Monsters uh, cinematic universe. The first movie was terrible and there goes that. Canceled. Um... So don't I, I don't think that's the way to go. I think the way to go is to start, just launch a superhero book. And if it's good, hey, maybe you can then expand on it. Um, but I do think that now is the time. I would love it if, if Alterna said that they were going to launch their first ever monthly and it was a superhero book. Or even if they said, hey, we're launching a, you know, four issue mini 
and it's a superhero book. It's a it's an actual superhero title. There's no weird twist to it or anything. I would be all about it. I'd be like, yes, bring it on. Let me see. What do you got? Um, and I would hope that it's good. And if it's not good, then it's not good. But if it was good, I would totally be recommending it to everybody I know who is turned off by the current state of Marvel and DC. Um, and I do think there's somebody out there who's going to who's going to make good on it. And I think that's why you were seeing such huge success for things like the Lady Death series. I mean, she's not a new character, obviously, but, you know, it's still something as an alternative. And and seeing Cyberfrog and Jawbreakers, which is like a team book, you know, these are all like superhero books. Um, You know, I mean, Jawbreakers is essentially like, you know, G.I. Joe, but they have superpowers and they're like fighting a giant gorilla. Like, okay, I'm in. I want to see what that is. That sounds big and dumb and fun. And I will enjoy that. Um, You know, Cyber Frog is a talking cybernetic alien frog hybrid thing that's going to fight a bunch of alien wasps. Okay, I'm down. I'll read that. Sounds good. Like, I'm, I, you know, it doesn't need to be Shakespeare. Um, you know, Red Rooster, they've, they've said it's Batman in a barn. Dude, he's got a rogues gallery and everything. I'm in. I want to see that. I, I definitely want to see that. And I know there's more to that story than that pitch really gives because they've said there's definitely more to it. But even so, like, I, this is, these are heroes, dude. That's what I want. I want to read superhero comics. And I want to read good superhero comics that don't preach to me about some ridiculous, you know, political view or whatever. And they're not going to insert the words of the current president of the United States into the mouths of the main villain. Because we don't like him, so we want to make him sound like the villains. Like, I don't care, dude. Just stop. Just stop. Stop. Give me a bad guy. Give me Cobra Commander trying to build the weather dominator and then ransom the weather, essentially, to the world. Yeah, that's what I want. Give me that. And give me G.I. Joe finding a way to stop him. That's what I want. It's not Hemingway. It's not Shakespeare. It's not the classics of literature. I don't care. That's not what I'm reading comic books for. I'm reading comic books... Not to read, you know, Noel Coward. I'm not trying to read... I'm not trying to read Catcher in the Rye in comic book form. I would hate that, first of all, because I hated that book. I always thought friggin' Holden Caulfield was a whiny little B-I-T-C-H. But that's beside the point. Um, My point is, just give me comic books with superheroes doing fun stuff. And I feel like now, because Marvel and DC are not giving you that, that now actually is the time, believe it or not, Marvel and DC, who had a monopoly on superhero comics, they had a stranglehold on superhero comics, and they have let it go. And they have opened the door for someone else who is willing to take the chance to step in and own them and take over that space. And that's where manga is taking over. Because essentially a lot of, you know, manga, you know, manga uh, books are, they're basically superhero books, just usually without the costumes. I mean, let's be honest, Dragon Ball Z is a superhero comic. These guys all have crazy powers. They have crazy, like, earth-shattering fights. Characters die. They come back to life. It's a, it's a superhero comic. Okay. Yeah, okay, the characters don't wear... Well, some of them wear, like, sort of costumes. But, you know, they don't wear spandex. They don't wear masks, really, you know. But it's still a superhero comic, let's be honest. And that is way more popular than anything that Marvel or DC are putting out comic book-wise. So anyway, to summarize, I think now is the time. Someone should strike. And I think if they were to strike now, they would succeed. So let me know what you think about this. Is now the time that someone could finally launch a successful alternative superhero comic book or superhero universe? Let me know in the comments what you think. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm at jam underscore creates. Uh, If you like this video, 
click the thumbs up, jingle that bell for notifications, you know, subscribe, like, share, tell your friends, you know, go stand on a street corner and scream. All right, don't do that last one. That's just annoying. Um, But, you know, hit me up, follow me on Twitter. Like I said, at jam underscore creates. I'm on Minds. I'm at jam creates on Minds. Um, Just, you know, hit me up, talk to me. I want to talk back. Give me stuff to work with. You know, folks, talk to me. I want to I wanna interact. Uh, so let me know what you want to see from the channel. I've got some new comics in the house. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw I tweeted out my shipment from Alterna came. I'm going to start pumping out some reviews for those books. Um, first one up will probably be Exilium number two, and then we'll go from there. Um, still reading some stuff online. So we'll get some more comic book stuff going. I definitely want to do some art videos at some point. I'm trying to just figure out the best way to do it. Tell me what you want to see from me art-wise. Um, you know, I threw some ideas out there. Let me know if you like any of them or if not. Um, and that's it. Just hit me up. Talk to me. Let's talk. Let's chat. Let's hang. Let's be cool, people. All right? So happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Joyous Kwanzaa. Happy Festivus. Whatever, whatever. And that's it. I'm out. Peace out. I will see you soon. Uh, Bye.